Thank you. That was yesterday, wasn't it? <laughs> hey, just, just like last time, here comes the noise here in a few seconds. Hey, just want to say uh, thanks for coming out. It's great to be back. Uh, couldn't really see the orbiter, but I'm sure it's out there. Four days from now, actually pretty much exactly four days from now, we should all be strapped in and uh, ready to go. Hopefully the weather will be good. Mike Leinbach just told us that uh, the vehicle's in great condition. We really appreciate all the hard work by the, the team that's worked uh, over the last couple weeks to get uh, Shuttle Endeavor ready. We're going to pause here for a second and at least get him turned around so the noise is pointing in the other direction. Uh, we're, we're all going to say a few words here. I'm just going to turn it over to our pilot, uh, Greg Johnson. How are you all doing today? I can't think of a more perfect way to spend my birthday than to come here and uh, fly over here with my crew and get ready to fly Endeavour next week. You know, we get a lot of attention as the crew, these guys standing next to me. But, you know, the real heroes, okay, I'm going to hold it for just a moment. As, as I was saying, the real heroes in this uh, crowd are the folks here at KSC who've been supporting the space shuttle uh, for launches, repairs, uh, maintenance, and protecting it for the last 30 years. Hats off to Dana Hutcherson and her team for preparing Endeavor for this flow. And finally, a special thanks for the APU team for all the hard work you've done getting us to this point. You know, kudos for solving it and uh, getting us back on track. So uh, next, I'd like to turn the microphone over to Colonel Mike Fink. He'll be MS-1, going up and down on the flight deck, robotics, three EVAs, and you know, added to our two weeks on orbit, he'll uh, add his other 365 plus days to become the new record holder for an American astronaut in space. Here's Mike. Yeah, our crew, and uh, the team here at Kennedy Space Center, as well as the entire NASA family is incredibly humbled and proud to be able to take the Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer into low Earth orbit and to install it aboard our beautiful International Space Station. Professor Sam Ting and his team of international scientists and engineers have worked a really long time and really hard to, uh, to get to this point and we congratulate them. And we all have uh, great anticipation for the amazing insight to the world, the universe around us that the AMS is going to provide. And we feel that the AMS, along with the International Space Station, are great symbols of what uh, we human beings across planet Earth can do when we work together constructively. And our crew is uh, very proud to be part of this great endeavor. This is, uh, next is uh, Colonel Roberto Vittori from the Italian Air Force. Uh, he's an incredible test pilot, as well as uh, twice uh, flown on the Soyuz. Ricky Bobby. I have been asked to address a few words in my native uh, language that is Italian, and I'm doing that with pleasure. Sono qui come astronauta dell'Agenzia Spaziale Europea, colonnello dell'Aeronautica Militare per una importante missione di ASI, l'Agenzia Spaziale Italiana. A bordo di Endeavour c'è AMS e l'Italia ha un contributo importante in AMS. Andiamo verso la Stazione Spaziale Internazionale dove l'Italia è presente e protagonista come Italia e come Agenzia Spaziale Europea. È un onore per me aver preparato questa missione con gli altri membri dell'equipaggio e guardo con anticipazione al momento in cui raggiungerò la stazione dove il mio amico e collega Paolo Nespoli è lì ad aspettare per la prima lunga durata di un italiano. It is now my pleasure to leave the microphone to Drew Foistel. Thank you Roberto and thanks to all of you for coming out today. 
Uh, as EV1 for the mission, I am uh, confident to report that my team, including uh, Mike Fink and Greg Shamatoff, are ready for the four challenging uh, EVAs that we have planned for the mission. Uh, we've logged over 200 hours in the neutral buoyancy lab at the Johnson Space Center planning for the 26 hours of tasks on orbit. We'd like to thank the folks at the Johnson Space Center, particularly those at the uh, Neutral Buoyancy Laboratory, for uh, supporting our training during that time. We'd also like to thank the uh, engineers and technicians at JSC and those at the Kennedy Space Center here for getting our uh, EVA hardware ready for the mission. And um, it's an honor to be here, and uh, we look forward to uh, for carrying out these tasks on orbit. Next, I'd like to uh, hand the microphone over to uh, Greg Shamatoff. Uh, an experienced long-duration space station crew member and a great scientist and someone uh, with whom I'll be privileged to uh, to share his first spacewalking moments uh, on orbit. Thanks, Drew. Um, <clears throat> well, we, as you can tell, we're all very, very excited to be here and uh, to be uh, getting this mission started. Um, as part of all the activities you've heard about here, uh, there's a lot of robotics on this mission, too. Uh, Box is our uh, lead, uh, robotics. Uh, guru. Uh, all of us have some hand in robotics throughout the mission. Um, uh, the person installing the AMS, the ELC, and uh, inspecting the tiles on the shuttle and supporting the EVAs. Uh, a lot of robotics. We have a, a great team on the ground supporting us. We really appreciate all they've done to prepare the mission. Uh, just a word about ELC. We have a lot of cargo transfer, important supplies, critical spares to deliver to the station. Uh, on ELC, there's some spare antennas, ammonia for uh, cooling for the station, and um, uh, extra oxygen. We have a lot of internal critical stuff and uh, that we're transferring and all this is you know for the longevity of the station after the shuttle program uh, finishes. And um, I'd like to, like to mention also other science. It's a short mission. We do have other science on the mission. AMS of course is our star attraction. Uh, we are um, uh, bringing up a, a new MISI uh, experiment. Uh, uh, materials uh, being exposed to vacuum and uh, radiation in space. We're installing that. There's a relative navigation uh, experiment we're going to be running that will improve navigation for future spacecraft. Then we have a host of other biological, chemical, uh, and other experiments, a lot of uh, Italian experiments um, that uh, Roberto will be doing on this flight. Um, there's a lot of folks, of course, at KSC and at Houston supporting, but especially for this mission, there's folks all around the world supporting this mission. So we're, we're really appreciative of our colleagues, and we're also um, very proud to be part of this team. So before I hand the mic back to, to uh, Mark here, uh, I'd just like to say on behalf of all of us, uh, we all know Mark's been through a lot in the past few months. Um, he's done an incredible job keeping track of all the details of this mission. Uh, I flew with him on one, STS-124. He's, he's truly an amazing commander, and all of us feel that we're really, really lucky to have him uh, guide us through this complex mission. Mark? Thanks, Greg. Appreciate that. Well, thanks for coming, folks. Uh, we are really excited to be here, excited to launch hopefully on Monday if the weather holds. Our families will be down later in the week. You know, normally we would have them come down typically on the same day we come down, but uh, all of our kids, we have all, all of them are in school and uh, they missed a lot of school last week and we, we couldn't uh, let that happen again. So they'll be down over the weekend, even though I'm sure they'd rather be here in Florida now. Um, but it's uh, good for us to be down here. Box and I have a couple STAs this week. We'll all go out to the orbiter, check some cables, uh, check some other stuff at the pad, and then uh, get ready and continue our sleep shift. Uh, today we woke up, what time, 1 a.m.? Yeah, we'll be waking up uh, midnight tonight to get ready for a launch that starts uh, liftoff at 8.56 in the morning on Monday. But uh, once again, thank you very much for being here. We'll line up for uh, some pictures real quick.